We're glad to know you're still there. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Right now, we're going to talk about the collapse greed successfully restored. Uh, that is according to uh, TCM, the transmission company of Nigeria. It said it has fully restored the national electricity grid, which collapsed in the early hours of Monday. This was announced by the TCN General Manager of Public Affairs, Ndidi Mba, in a statement. Monday afternoon, this makes it uh, the sixth time the power grid collapsed in 2024. TCN reaffirms its commitment to enhancing the resilience and reliability of the national grid and pledges to continue investigating the measures aimed at strengthening the grid's uh, infrastructure. And to discuss this is Dr. Sam Ahmadi, former chairman of the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC. Good morning and welcome to the program, sir. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we're getting worried every day we hear about uh, the collapse of the national grid and all that. Um, it has been restored now, but restoration uh, means only uh, uh, collapse in waiting. So we're, we're, we're concerned about that in the 21st century and uh, with a population of more than 200 million people in Nigeria. We'd just like you to quickly walk us through why this collapse uh, collapses happens all the time and what needs to be done to make sure that it doesn't happen again. We, we, are, sh we are short of time. That's why I'm just uh, putting all the questions mm -hmm. together. So why does it happen and what can be done about it? Well, uh, uh, is a uh, sort of uh, yeah, technical for uh, sometimes um, it is a structure for many years uh, the various in been upgraded and not working uh, and sometimes they did that so the then it's weak. And um, something I thought, uh, and depending on of a uh, positive failure, but all I said that is never enough. It never says Um. I think it's, the it's network a, seems seems to yeah, be bad. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll just have him another time and have a conversation about this because we need proper infrastructure. We need something that is sustainable, not collapse today, collapse tomorrow, collapse next tomorrow. Oh, we fixed it. We have power now. And then in a few days again or a few weeks, we see it. This is the sixth time in 2024, and this is just April. We just finished the first quarter. How do we have a grid that keeps collapsing every other week? I'm very sure that <clears throat> there are things that can be done, but corruption has uh, eaten deep, deep and nobody cares. And people take for granted, people, people are not even active enough to make sure that the people who do things wrongly uh, answer for it. Mm -hmm. Like someone said, if there is uh, consequences for bad behavior and people are seen to get those consequences for bad behavior, people, other people will sit up. Mm -hmm. But there's no consequence for bad behavior. And sometimes we just take for granted things that we think, okay, it is a bad thing, but it's not that bad, and we let it go. Mm. For no, instance, we just have a slap on the wrist. For instance, the banks tell you that they do 24-7 uh, seven service. And then you go to the bank every weekend, you don't have money on the ATM. Every public mm -hmm. holiday, you don't have money. And, and sometimes they, no the network. POS is, is operating yeah. very close. Nobody is talking to the banks. You go to your service provider, you make a call. Um, this is funny. You make a call and they're telling you sometimes in place of the ringtone, Something will be like on this day in 20th, mm. this and that, this, this, this happened. You will hear that same sound maybe for like a month <laughs> on this day. Or what if someone is going for an exam yeah. and he hears that and he goes to write it? He <laughs> fails. It is your fault. What if you are, you are having a discussion that is supposed to be an intelligent discussion and you and feel that, that you've heard, you've had information wrong, and then you use it and then you get embarrassed. There are people who can, can commit suicide because of embarrassment mm -hmm. and you're letting those things happen. Nobody's talking about it. So you can deceive us all the time that you want and no, mm -hmm. no consequences at all. So we take for granted a lot of things that happen here and there is no consequence for bad behavior. Yeah. 
and so people just do i think in indonesia or one of these countries someone is um you know going to face death because of fraud mm. but in nigeria we celebrate the big men yeah, we we'll give them the cheap you have the money do you understand and that's not how we're supposed to be if we want a system that works then our justice system needs to you know do everything that they can to ensure that we're good to ensure that people do not, you know, commit, um, you know, crimes and then they're being rewarded instead of, you know, facing the music, instead of going to jail, instead of being, you know, persecuted for it. But we're being rewarded. We're saying we clap for them. We clap for corruption. Corruption and has eaten deeply why, in our nation. And why. we need to start to, you know, just curb it to in totality. That's why I applaud the courage of the Ganduji award where eventually Ganduje, the, the APC mm -hmm. uh, chairman comes from, because he's facing this allegation in the state that the Gandula thing and all that, I hear he's been suspended. Yes. And it he will take a lot of today. courage for a ward to suspend the national chairman of the party uh, in a ward that bears his name. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that was very courageous. Mm. And um, we hope that he will answer to whatever, whether there were crimes or not. Mm. If he comes out clean, fine. Mm. If he's found guilty, then he should go in for it. So I commend that as well. Yeah, anyway, circling but back to the topic, which is about the power grid. Um, I mean, I just hope that whatever infrastructure they need to put in place is being put in place. Corruption is out of the way. And then we can just have a better um, electricity greed that is not collapsing and that south africans are not laughing at us so police please arrest them all the time after all now uh, the tinubu administration is declaring uh, the last day of the first week of every april as police day mm. they will have police week and then the end of that week will be police day so maybe there will be improved uh, services from the police. Well, yes, we'll see so about cool. that. All right, <laughs> <laughs> that's it for the show today. It was lovely having the breakfast with you. Thank you. We'll see you again tomorrow. My name is Rume Paulson. And I am Nyamgul Agaji. Tomorrow will be another very good day to meet. Bye for now. Bye.